Hello everybody, in this new tutorial of Unity, today I will show you how to make RPG game. So, let's begin by create a new empty object, which called map. We'll add another empty object, which called terrains, and here we'll add 3D object terrain. So, we need to add a texture to this terrain. So, edit layer, create, let's add, let's create a new layer and let's select the image. And here we need to set the drilling settings, the size to 300 by 300 will be something like this. So we need to overread the terrain width and the terrain length. It will be 2000 by 2000. No. Let's select the main camera and change some property here, like the far, the position of the camera. I think something like this. So now we need to duplicate it, the terrain and let's drag it to the right it will be something like this so now we need to change the position of the camera I think that's great. So let's go to the asset store and we'll download a soldier assets. So here we have many paid package. Let's see something free. And here we have this tune soldier. Let's download it and import it. Import all. So here in the asset explorer, let's move the imported package to imports folder. Let's create a new folder which is called package. And other folder which is called images. And here we can drag the image to the image folder and the imported package to package. So here in the imported package we have a soldier demo prehab. Let's drag and drop it in the scene and let's change the scale to 210. Let's change the position. It's too small, so let's change the scale one more time to 50 by 50 and 50 on the z axis.
let's run the game so we have a prefab without animation let's change the position and we need to make it at the center here we can change the field of view of camera in order to reset resize the viewport let's move it to the center and we have something like this I think we need to resize the viewport I think so here we have 100 by 100 we can change the view the feed of view by changing this in the editor so let's move it to the right and a little bit to the top and I think that's great yeah so more a little bit on the left and here we have our soldier in the center so now let's download a joystick package it's a free package so we download it and import it to the assets let's import all here we can see so let's drag and drop it to the imported package so here we have the prefabs of different joystick let's create a canvas object that will be the foreground canvas in which we will will import our joysticks so we have to change the UI scale mode to scale with screen size here we make our canvas adaptive or responsive for all screen resolution and we can we can set the reference resolution so let's change the width and the height of this fixed joystick so let's say 100 by 100 and here we change the handle also 50 by 50 let's see so here we have we need to we drag it more a little bit to the bottom and to the left that's great I think yeah so let's run the game and here we have a joystick left joystick for movement so now we need to to bind the movement of joystick to the player movement in order to make this let's add a new script which called player movement open the script Visual Studio so now we have the player movement class we need a new property type of fixed joystick and it will be the left joystick so in the update method we need to make 
the player movement to update the player movement so here normally we called a method which call player movement or move player which take the joystick horizontal and vertical movement so let's generate the method delete this throw exception so here we need to add a private property which called uh, player movement it's a vector 3 in, uh, in this property we calculate the player movement so we need also another property type of cartoonian and it will be the player cartoonian in which we we calculate the the player rotation so here let's change the name to player movement and player cartoonian So in the start method, let's initialize to player cartoonian to a new instance of cartoonian class. And here in the player and the move player, let's change the parameters to x and z. So first of all, we need to set the player movement vector to this new value of x and z. And zero for the y-axis so we need to move the player on the x-axis and the z-axis so here we need to add also a new property which called speed let's initialize it to 100 so we can make this in the start method or we can initialize it directly and the declaration of property the same thing and here we need to to cut, cut to normalize the player movement vector so player movement is equal to the normalized values multiplied by the speed and multiplied by the time dot time scale The time the dart scale it's um, it's important uh, in order to make uh, pause uh, when we pause the game. So we'll see this the next time. So here we need to to know if the left joystick is pressed. So we don't have this property in the native package of joystick. So we need to add it. So we need to add is pressed property in fixed joystick class. So in order to set this value, we need to override the default uh, method on pointer down. So here we need to use the base dot on pointer down event data in order to use the default uh, method and let's set is press to true and the same thing we need to redefine the uncontrol app and here we set the is pressed to false so if the left joystick is pressed we need to calculate the rotation of uh, of the player so here let's define a new vector 3 turn it's equal to new vector 3 and here we'll use the x the 0 of um, y's axis and the z's axis so the player cartoonian it's equal to the cartoonian dot look rotation of the turn vector
So we let rename the this property to turn. Yeah. So if the joystick it's not pressed, which means else the player uh, movement the player curtain it's equal to transform that rotation which means the current player curtain the player rotation it's equal to the prefab rotation so we need to set the movement and the rotation of this transform so transform dot set position and rotation and we we add the current position of the transform plus the calculated player movement and the second parameter is the player continuum. So here we set the movement and the rotation at the same time of object. So let's see. Let's drag and drop the fixed joystick object to the player movement script. Let's run the game and oh, it's too quickly. So we need to redefine the speed value to 10 maybe. And here we have the player object move up and down. So now we need to to set the animation of player so now let's add a new folder which called animation and in this animation folder we create animator controller let's call the player animation controller So here we have a state machine. Let's create a new empty state which called idle. So by default, we have the entry state which um, which uh, will will make the transition between the entry state and the idle uh, state. So we don't have a condition which means the idle state is the default. Uh, start uh, machine uh, state. So here let's drag and drop the motion and here let's correct so now we have also the running state so we have the idle state and the running state and here we can make transition between different states with a parameter. So here we have a transition between idle and running state. So let's add a new parameter which called is running. So it's a boolean. If is running is true, so we'll translate. We'll make the transition transition between the idle um, the idle state to the running state so here we add the condition is running to true we have to make the transition to the running and when it's false we have to set the state to idle state yeah let's drag and drop the motion here so in the soldier um, object we have to drag and drop this player animation controller to the animator controller so here we define the controller and in the game actually by default we'll have the player in the idle transition so in the player movement we have to set the condition when we make when we set is running is true so 
if the left joystick is pressed, which means the player uh, we move the player. <coughs> so now on the move player method. So first of all we need to to add a private property type of animator which is called animator and in the start um, method we need to to set this animator by the default animator of transform so here we can get component type of animator which is defined in unity editor so here we have the animator and now we need to define the the value of is running transition parameter so we set the is running transition uh, parameter to true when the player is moving so now we need to know when the player is moving so we have to calculate the transform position the position of the player minus the player movement uh, vector it will be different from the transform position which means the player is moving and now we have to set animator.setBool the parameter is is running parameter which defined in unity animator controller we set it to true else the player is not moving so he is in the idle state and here we set the is running parameter to false so here is player movement vector. So let's run the game. Here we have by default the player in the idle position and when we move the joystick we have the player in the running state. So let's correct the the move player parameter. So here we can use left joystick direction dot x and left joystick direction dot y and same thing here. We have to make the Z parameter and the X parameter. And now let's run the game. And here we have when we change the position of the joystick, we have the player move in different direction. So, we can change the speed to 20, uh, eventually we can do this when upgrade the user performance in the game. So that's all for today, thank you for watching.